Okay, we're going to continue today. Well, again, it's the same day it'll be uploaded later today. I'm noticing now that we are starting to hit the end of our supply lines. Dresden has finally been retaken. Oh shit, what did I just click? I feel like the key to victory is nowhere on this front. Like, I mean, we could theoretically be fighting for the next thousand rounds on this front. I mean, we'll make some gains. We'll take some cities. But it's not going to change the outcome at this point. Like, who knows? We'll run out of troops and collapse. They'll push us to, I don't know, back towards Vienna or Milan. The only way to actually gain ground is to take a city. Collapse the entire enemy army. <sighs> and saying that, there's literally right now no way to win this, short of pressing De Brunswick, taking Frankfurt, pushing them out of Germany, actually. But here's the issue here's the difference between our lines here that supplies these armies and their armies. Minute Milan, that's there's no problem. But uh, other regions. It's nearly impossible to get any troops there. I wish I could see Britain keep fighting, but they'll probably surrender soon.
Hey guys, be sure to comment who you are so I can see just who of you guys actually watches these videos. Prague has fallen back to us. I wish I could give territory to my allies. Like what I do, right, is I give Serbia a bunch of territory around here. I mean, for this, I'd probably give them here. Austria would get probably up into here. Or what if you could make your own country? Like, not saying that you'd play as them. But, what if you was like, okay, so I want to establish Romania. So you don't give Serbia anything. Maybe some ground down up into here. But you'd be like, let's establish Romania here. Let's establish Bulgaria there. Greece. Let's establish a new Turkey. But minus Thrace. Or whatever territories. And make them your allies. That way, you could just keep fighting throughout the war. Instead of just relying on your own strategy to win everything. Because you know in real life at this point that if there was a war this big, they would have already established the nations. Well, not all of them that they wanted. So you'd probably see a bunch of Balkans nations pop up. Now there are... Who knows how Britain would go? The French could probably count on Welsh people. Some corns. They could probably incite rebellions in Scotland. And Ireland. And the Isle of Man. You saw it here, Torino has fallen. The next question is food wise. How long are we going to hold out here? Okay, the shape of Austria Hungary is no longer this interesting shape. It's now just this really boring looking shape. But they do have everything they need to survive some food some to produce every major type of UNSS for ships That is a very large salient. Are they even supporting France at this point? Their allies? Nope, I don't see any troops. Let's check the thing. There are Italian troops, but what city are the Italians holding that's keeping them alive as a player? Wait, yeah, they, they gotta be holding something to keep them alive. Oh, wait, here, that's it. Is that it? No, that's a different Italian state. What are they holding? I need to look into this. Look here, they got the purple. Let's zoom in. Don't see any Italian cities. Don't see any Italian cities. Don't see any Italian cities. Do you have to defeat all the units? 
I haven't, I don't really remember. I hope that's not a coyote out here. Now, okay, I'm definitely worried about that. I'll see you next time. 